Hey guys, Whitey here. I uh, just seen the update on Facebook about the new patch going up January 22nd. I figured I'd make a video let you guys know what's going on. Uh, lots of big things today. Nameplates added to players. Uh, when you target other players, they're going to be improved with reputation. Uh, icons that will display under the nameplates. So it'll be easy to identify bandits, lawmen, and uh, it's gonna. We're actually gonna be able to work towards whatever uh, reputation bonus you want, bandit, mega bandit, whatever it might be. Um, dev diaries tomorrow for more information. There's a lot of that in this update. Lots of dev diaries tomorrow. Uh, leaderboards. It's a big thing there. Um, I'm not too big on leaderboards in shooter games, but. Uh, some people need to compare stats to make themselves feel better. Uh, every now new character starts with flashlight. That's a good thing. Flare gun finally added. Server hopping is going to be fixed. I'm really interested to see what this is going to be. Um, I mean, I, I'm thinking it's going to be a time limit thing. Maybe some sort of uh, 15 minute wait before you can switch servers. Maybe you can't switch back into the same server twice. I, I'm not 100% sure, but once again, Dev Diaries tomorrow will explain more. <sighs> Added the ability to mo remove the HUD. This is going to be great for making videos, for anyone making YouTube videos or anything like that. You can now turn off the flashlight by pressing F. The game menu will now zoom in and out properly. Toxicity has been added to the game. I'm pretty sure that's going to be like getting infected by zombies or either, I don't know, uh, some sort of a use for the gas mask, at least. Um, backpack weights, good, they're going to fix it pro finally. I'm not too sure what this is, G GC transaction log. Oh, okay, so that's just basically going to show you what how much GC you bought. Memory optimization is always good. Optimizations. I've never seen this happen. Fix bug at 99 hours, but uh, that's good. Crosshair has been changed back to a cross. No more uh, circle. Over. I don't know what this is. I'm going to go look into it and maybe put something over the video later. Overgrowth has been added. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, but they have added a bunch of furniture and buildings, houses, opened up interiors of additional buildings. I'm hoping that's going to be a lot in Campos. And that's pretty much it. This is one of the most exciting patches I've seen in a long time. Uh, I'm super excited. Pretty sure the rest of the clan will be too. And uh, that's it. See you guys later.